Oh, look at you, Mrs. Science here. What's going on? Uh, soil testing. Soil testing. At home kits. Do I really need to test my soil? I mean, my lawn's fine. I mean, do you take your kids to the pediatrician? I don't, my wife does. So, it's just the same thing. They analyze what's wrong with the child. I'm analyzing what's wrong with soil. So if I don't measure, I can't fix? Correct. Okay. If you do a soil test at home, it's like taking like a little screenshot of your so overall soil health. Yeah. So you could determine what nutrients you have, if you lack, if there's abundance of them. Okay, okay. Uh, when should I do it? Do I care? Um, yes, you should care, Kevin. It's <laughs> in the fall is really the best time, especially if you have to amend the pH of the soil. There's a window. You have alkaline, which is high, and acidic, which is low. Low pH. Yep, okay. and it goes through numbers 1 to 14. Right in the middle, 7 is neutral. Gotcha. So for plants to pull up the nutrients out of the soil, it needs to be within the pocket of, say, a 5.5 to like a 7.5. And so you're saying do it in the fall because if I have to fix it, it's going to take a while. So when the spring growing season comes over the winter, whatever I add to it will help. If you had the opportunity to have the forethought for that, like yeah. a lot of farmers do that. What if I'm too high? What if I'm close to the 14? What if I pull a 12? If you're too high or you're too low, the plant will not be able to uptake the nutrients. It has to be in that sweet spot right in the middle. So that's where I want to get it. Okay, yeah. so that's important. Um, in terms of how I test, home kits, I presume, is that what you brought us? You know what, home kits, they're easy to use. It's really simple. So this one tests pH only, right? Okay. So you do one part water, one part soil, mix it up, and then you stick the piece of paper in it. Mm. Like, old, like old science class. Yeah. It, it'll give you a read right here and you test it against this. It tells you what you got. Right. And so this one is the next level. You, again, take a mixture of one-to-one -one soil water. This one is for the pH, right? This one is the NPK ratio. So this one is for the nitrogen. This one is for the phosphorus. And this one is for the potash. Gotcha. Right? Okay. They're always going to be the same three numbers on a bag of fertilizer. So the nitrogen is for the green green leaves, green blooms. The phosphorus is for the, the strength of the roots of the plant and uh, helps with blooms and flowers. And the potash is for the overall health of the plant to just keep everything healthy and in check. So how does this work? What do I, do I have to take the <laughs> pill and lay down? What's, this, what's going do on here? Do not take the pill. So you put your soil sample in there, the one part of distilled water and soil, and then you empty the contents of the capsule in there, oh. give it a shake, and then you'll be able to just read where the you pH, are on right. the pH. Do the same thing, and this one will tell me what my nitrogen is, yep. the K, and okay, right, NPK. NPK. So I've seen that as well. So those three numbers mm -hmm. are always on a bag of fertilizer. Always. And always in the same order. Always in the same order. Which is like this bag right here, 10, 10, 10, NPK. It's always gonna be nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. So say your lawn is is struggling and you, you need to, because I know you need to have a green, green lawn. You might need to hit it with a little more nitrogen. So I would take something like this and do like a 20, 10, 10, right? Gotcha. Have the higher amount of nitrogen to give it that little boost. And if you determined or the test determined you need more potash, then it might be a 10, 10, 20. Correct. Pick the right bag. Yeah. Determine, first determine your problem, mm -hmm. analyze it and then hit it with the proper nutrients. Oh, I got problems. <laughs> <laughs> What's this kit for? Similar this, idea? This one is just a specialized version of this, just a, a different way to do it, same kind of results. Ah, uh, chemistry for me, I don't know. Well, that is why I brought you the four-way analyzer. Uh, the barbecue pro. <laughs> so this measures how much fertilizer you have if you have a proper mix of the NPK ratio, yeah. right? With the sunlight, moisture, and pH. It measures all four, just toggle between them? Exactly, so this one I have set to moisture. Nice. Watch this meter. Oh yes, look so, at that. So that's gonna measure that, and then you put it to each setting if you wanna do light right, versus right, pH, right, right. so that's kinda cool. Cool, that is very cool. Mm -hmm. I like that one, that's coming home with me. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you have that one. So I get the results back, yep. and now I've gotta actually amend. It is, it is just some version of fertilizer, right? Picking the right mix. Right, so this one right here is the 10, 10, 10, and picking the right mix, go off the recipe that, you're, mm -hmm. that you find out that you're depleted. Um, you could always, if you wanna to go to another specialized level, take 10, 14 different samples from your yard, a cup here of each, mix it together, and then you send one cup in to right. the extension school to the lab, and right. they will say, you are lacking in this one micronutrient that we didn't talk about because 
who knew it was even there? Yeah. yeah, and I don't mean to play the skeptic. I've actually done that and sent it away because I didn't want to over fertilize. That's a problem. Right, and so, I mean that's a big environmental problem. People just think throw fertilizer down and it's just going to fix your problem. You know, do the test, save some money, and don't pollute the waterways. Because all of that fertilizer is going to run off eventually. So too much nitrogen, you're going to end up with bad water right. nearby. Right. You know, blooms. For Try to just like conserve, be conservative, mm -hmm. use only what you need, and uh, yeah, teach yourself a new thing. I love it. Thank you, Jen. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. Yep. And thank you. Yep. <laughs> Take care of that. Put this in the bobby. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.